Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Katie, and welcome to the Zoom and Culture uh, channel. Tonight's live, I'm going to be doing a uh, diagonal uh, straight stitch quilting of the quilt with no name. Um, so um, y'all are going to have to bear with me. Now, if there's someone in the channel that wants to join me on the live to help me with the channel while I start the quilting process, Please say something and I'll bring you in. That way somebody can help me with the chat part of the channel. So let me know if you're interested in helping. And hello, Liz. Hello, Kathleen. Hello, Donnell. Hello, Denise. Hey, Terry. How's everyone doing tonight? Hi, Jean. I'm trying to, I'll, I'll let the, let's get a few people in here before I get started. So how is everyone today? Tell me how you're doing. Anyone want to join me on the live? All right, well, I've already got my machine set up to um, what I'm going to use for the, the stitch length and things like that. Oh, oh I wish it was, Terry. Yeah, I would, it would help because it's going to take a lot of concentration trying to do this. Doing good. It has been a jam-packed day full of lives and chatting, not sewing right now. Hi, Andrea. Kathleen says, right, Donnell. I mean, have to figure something out. It has been a way, it has been way too long. So, um, yeah, I basted the quilt, but I'm not real happy with the basting on it. I can't seem to get the back to line up with the front. For some reason, I don't know why. Um, so I'm just gonna go with the flow and don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I I don't know why I didn't post earlier. I thought maybe um, I don't know what I thought. Either way, I just need to help somebody babysit in the chat as I try to quilt. Because I think this is going to be a little bit challenging with my limited space. So anyway, I'm moving everything off. Don't think I'm ignoring you if I don't answer you. But what I'm going to do is um, I've got everything set up. Change my foot, put a new needle in, put a, bobbin in, a fresh bobbin in. Set the stitch, stitch uh, the stitch length is going to be 3.20. Yes, definitely, Donnell. I can use all the help I get. can get. Okay, hold on. Let me get it. Everybody tell me what you've been doing today while I'm looking for the link. Okay, let me see. Go over to the other browser. What clicked on now?
Donnell, I'm posting it in your messenger. Okay. I watched the video from Patty Tops and she uses a spray. Yeah, you know, um, I'm over here in Greenland and I can't get my hands on all these specialty items that everybody suggests because they don't sell it here. I can't even get starch. Okay, so what I'm what I did is I have put uh hold on, let me hold it up first. I have put two rows of painters tape starting the diagonal in one direction. Okay. There is about three inches between the two. I needed a center line to work from, and then I'm going to try see how far apart I can put that bar to help with that. Hey, there you are, Teresa. I'll send the link to you, too. Unless you're not at home. Anyway, I, I got the, as I was saying, I put just two strips on right now. And then I'm going to see uh, if how far I can put this bar. I may not get three inches with this bar. I don't know. But you can try it. I'm a little nervous doing this on live. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Okay, now I'm gonna quit being distracted. All right, let's get, uh, what I'm gonna do now is, this is gonna be a little bit difficult because I'm, on lim I have limited space and I'm going to go back to the table that I had it on and try to fold it again so that I can, well, I don't know, maybe I just squeeze it under there like this. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure which I knew where my gloves were at. Or somewhere in the sewing room underneath all that chaos. Okay. So I'm going to start uh -oh, on the right of this tape. And then I'm just going to take my time and move it through there. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Jean. And Nora, you got to move. You're on my foot. Uh-oh, I hope you get to feeling better, um, Liz. Okay. So let me get this first line in and we'll see we'll see how it looks on the back. Because I want to make sure I don't end up with any um what do you call it when it bunches up? I don't know how to put my um Walking foot on my machine, and because it's, you've got to put it on a certain way on this Janome, and I don't want to put it on there and then break it. Hi, Teresa. Hello. Who else come in? Hi, Laura. Hi, Frank. Hi, Joy. Thank you all for coming. I'm trying not to tag the tape. Yeah, I hear you, Laura, on that. I would not enjoy having to pick it out. Ouch! Ooh. About to move the pin box. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Give me a heart if you can see what I'm doing. It's a... um. It, this is a Janome 6700P, and this is what the walking foot looks like.
it has a inner mechanism on it. Okay. Let me get keep on going here. Okay, Donnell, whoever gets here, somebody, so they you can help with the channel. Man, the weight of this thing. Okay, let me try to. Yeah, I love this machine, Liz. I want to buy another one because this is the only, this is my main machine. I have a little singer and I really don't ever want to go back to that one. It wasn't made for this kind of thing. This is not easy, you guys. Hi, Sylvia. Thank you, Mona. This is one of my, okay. All right, so far I haven't missed too much. All right, good. One thing about doing this, it makes my shoulders hurt. So that must mean I'm not in the right height. Can you adjust the foot pressure on it? Yes, what should I do? Make it looser or tighter? There's a knob up here that can be adjusted for that. Yep, I don't have a table. This is what I sew on. I don't think this is moving through here properly though. Well, maybe it is. It just doesn't seem like it. I think I have the stitch still too small. Hey, Katie, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Hey, Donnell. Okay, cool. I don't know. Let me see if the chair will go back up because it keeps sliding down. It doesn't stay up for very long. Nope, it's as high as it'll go. Loosen the knob a little. 
does it need to go uh, down or up? Like right now it's sitting on two and a half. What is it that you're trying to adjust? The foot pressure. They're suggesting I loosen the foot pressure a little so it will move through here fat better because the weight of it's pulling on it. My GP has a knob like that too. You may want to test it on a scrap to get the pressure. He says up. So I would go up to two, right? Or go down to three. Hey, Glenda. Was, hey, Joyty. It was sitting on two and a half. Hey, Mona. Counterclockwise. Okay, gotcha. Well, this first one is just going to have to be like this. I'm not going to rip it out. Are you doing a free motion quilting or just straight stitching? Straight stitching. That's usually what I go with as well. Huh? That's usually what I do as well. Either that or I'll do a decorative, a decorative stitch that my machine has. Well, I I set the stitch length to three and a three and. 3.20, and maybe the stitch is still not long enough. It still looks short to me. Not as short as what I stitched with, of course. <clears throat> okay, baby steps. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Y'all are not in. Y'all are not uh, in a hurry to watch me hurry up and do this, right? <clears throat> I hope not. <laughs> You are completely fine, girl. You're trying to take your time, do what you got to do. Say, sir, nobody asked you, my darling. Thank you. I had a lot of difficulty trying to baste it. It wouldn't, the back, the front wouldn't line up with the back, so I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm going to have to trim it. I just, I think part of the problem is because I don't have my big cutting table, you know, because it's in that disaster in there. The weight of the quilt is probably working against you. Yep, probably, because it's definitely heavy. Hey, Denise says just go slow and steady. Is this your first time quilting a quilt yourself on your machine? One this size. I've just done little ones, like, you know, mud rugs or. <clears throat> yeah, I usually try and keep like the quilt, like sitting either over my shoulder, leaning over the back of the chair. Well, that or is that. It's kind of hard to do that because I'm quilting in the diagonal. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to move the camera for a minute so you guys can see what the back of this is. See what you see if you think that the stitch needs to be bigger. I don't know if you can see it or not. I think it looks fine, my personal opinion. But then again, whenever I do my quilting on my machine, I just do the normal standard stitch length that it set as, which is three point five. Um, well, the normal and two point four length. Yeah, the normal on this one is two point four. Wait a minute, let me reset the whole thing. It's, so, uh, it's two point four on the right, and then on the left is four point five. And I had moved the right one up to three point two zero. I usually just keep mine set up as three point five and two point four. Oh. Whenever I do mine, what does the left do? The one on the left is how wide the stitches will go if you're doing like a zigzag or something like that. I think it's a... Oh, okay. okay. All right. I got that first line in. Ooh. Now, 
Let me see how far out this bar will go without falling out. Sylvia, I am working on finishing up a quilted jacket that I've been working on. In just a minute, I'll show you guys the jacket. Just let me get this stitch done on the hood portion here because I had to extend the hood because I made it too short. Oh, it looks like I might have to. Oh, me, me, me. Oh. Yeah, this is going to be like a half an inch short if I want to do this three inches apart. But it might not be three inches apart. Okay, Sylvia says to put a pillow on your lap with slip with a slippery cover and rest the quilt on that. Okay. Let me go see what I can find. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay. I got this. Okay. Jordy, I used the Juki HCL F600. And I love it. The only downfall about me having a Juki in Michigan is the fact that it's super hard to find a dealer. Like, I have no dealers locally. So, if I needed service or anything like that, I had to send it out to be done. Same ripper time already. Okay. I've got this on. See, Donna Ditton says I use a walking foot to quilt on my sewing machine. Same here. I don't know how to put my walking foot on my dinner loop. That's why it's not on here. Okay, so the walking I don't, foot. I don't, wanna, I don't I don't wanna if there's a special you have to fasten this up here somewhere. Let me and if you, it, and if you don't put it where it says to put it, you'll break it. So a walking foot like this right here? No, doesn't look like that. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's this one's uh uh acting something. This is what mine looks like. And this right here has to be placed in a certain spot on the back. And every video I've seen doesn't show this. Actually, actually have the video where you can see them putting it on. And I'm a visual learner, and I have you know I had a blocking foot for my singer, and I broke it because I didn't have that one mounted on right either. So I don't want to break this because these are expensive. Oh, I know. The one for my Juki is like $45. Yeah. So this is something that I'm I'm going to pay the Janome vendor in at QuiltCon a visit and see if they won't show me how to put it on. Yeah, I definitely would have them show you since you don't know and you never want to take a chance of risk going to find it. Nope, I don't. I Denise, I actually got my machine through, uh, my husband and son ordered it through Amazon for me from a dealer in Florida and had it shipped here. Hey, Robin yeah, my, Marie, how are you doing? Yeah, mine came from Denmark. The manual's not, I'm a visual learner and the manual just doesn't, it, it, the manual's vague. Have you tried looking up videos of it? Yes. And every video that look, you cannot see what they're doing when they're putting it on. Oh, no. I need to see what's on the back that, where they attach it at. Oh, my gosh. It sounds like I'm being combative. I'm not. You are completely fine, dear. You need, to, you need to take a breather. Take a few deep breaths and relax. You got this. We will figure and it out as a group. Yeah. <laughs> What Mona just said, that little hook should go on the bar. There's some kind, of, yeah, but I can't tell where. And I think I have to take this whole piece off right here. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. If I can get to. I think that this whole piece has to come off right here. 
And then <clears throat> what did I do with it? So you what you would have to do is you would have to take off the normal foot that you have on there. Well, let's try and see what happens. First, take that off. Yep. Take, take off the off. normal foot. And then I need a screwdriver. Yep. And it looks like there is a little spot on the back for it to hook onto from my view on here. It looks like a flat head on there. It is a flat head. Oh, well, here it is. I was about to say, where's my screwdriver? I'm going to set this code aside so we can mess with this. And Liz says that she thinks that Amy Johnson has a video on it, too. All right, I'm going to put the camera where you can see what I'm doing. So if you think I'm putting it in the wrong place. Yeah, just because there's like a little bar back there towards the back. If you look at your camera, that shows the area there. Look at your camera right there where it shows the uh, the sewing machine. Right back, right above your finger. Right, Yep, right there. Right there's here? a little black bar in there. I think that's where that would hook on to. You might have to use your sewing machine camera to help guide you if you need to. The little silver uh, piece there should go on the other side of that black bar right there. Yep. And then that should probably go right in there. I mean, I'm not an expert at some some things. This thing is one of them. Does, I it love look like it, does it look like it's on there right? Yeah, it looks like it is. So what I would do is I would turn manually turn your hand wheel to make sure everything goes through the whole process nice and easy without pushing the foot pedal. Should I put the foot down? Yep, I would say put the foot down. Uh-oh, something with the thread. Oh, well, crap. That's because I had pulled thread through there. Let me try it again. Something's happening with the thread. Is your needle threaded and maybe try unthreading your needle and rethreading it? Uh oh, yeah. I need to rethread my sewing machine because it looks okay. like it, it looks like it came off the lever or whatever that's called. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I'll, I'll answer you guys as soon as I can. All right, let's try putting this back in here again. I'm trying not to get nervous all of a sudden. Just for that, we got this. That's the reason I'm telling you, use the uh, the manual hand wheel first, just to make sure everything goes good before you actually try and use the power of the uh, thing. You won't be in camera, Jones, so. What do you need? Oh, okay. 
I've had to start putting something behind the needle so I can see the hole. Isn't that funny? Huh? I've started having to put something behind the needle so I can see the needle hole. Andrea wants to know, is there a uh, a setting on your machine for when you're using the uh, walking foot? On um, mine, there is not. So I don't know if there is or on um, yours or not. When I looked it up, it didn't say anything. Up, but let me go look again just to make sure. Yeah. So set the straight stitch to set stitch length between two and a half to three, and I have it set to three point two. And then sew in the seam, but it doesn't say anything about setting anything else. Okay. Yeah. So, and it also talks about putting the, the bar on the, um, wait a minute, hang on, let me read the rest of this. I don't know why it's saying use a blue tip needle though. Huh? It doesn't matter about the needle as long as it's a quilting needle, right? Correct. I use my normal needles. So like a size 90 is what I normally use. Okay, because I put a new needle in in it. Okay, so that seems right. Let me get this threaded. Did the did the hook latch at the back of the foot? Yes, it's it seems to be in there. Hey, Aqua Quilter, Lisa, how are you doing? If you're wondering why I put a piece of paper in here, it's so I can see the hole on the needle. I've it's had to do the same thing sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, especially when I get nervous, I think I have. Oops, I don't want to do that either. I just want to get this behind so me. So anybody that's wanting to see the jacket, I'm about to show it. Okay. Now <sighs> let me put that under there and move it with the arm. So here's the jacket. That I've been working on. I just got the, I'm about to add an extension onto the hood to make it come out a little bit further because it doesn't exactly cover the head too well. And then I got to add in the zipper and the binding to go around the edge things. And then it'll be done. It looks okay. All, All right. right, so if everything's coming out fine so far with using manually, then I would try it yeah. with the let's pedal. Tr let's try it out. Moment of truth. Yep, yeah, let's get all this stuff put away first, though. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, everybody, for helping. Oh, you're welcome. That's what, that's what the family's for, so... I hadn't tried to do it because the last time I put a walking foot on a machine, I broke it. And it was probably because I didn't have it latched on the singer, right? We were gonna, yeah. And on these Denomi walking foots, they're so expensive. Yeah, Jane says she uses a 9014 needle size when she's machine quilting as well. Okay, 9014, okay. Yep, which is what I always use. I always heard that the 9014 was better to use when you're actually quilting. And then I do the 9014 for almost everything I do. So, uh oh, where's the hole for this? For what? This thing. Um, It may not have one on there. Go back to the walking foot. Look. Thank you, Mona. Okay, yeah, mine has one on the very, very back of it. Yeah, it's got. Yeah, I'm. I must not see it. What it is.
Thanks, Jean. No. Thank you, Glenda. No. Oh, well, I won't be using this after all. <laughs> you know okay. what? Most of the time, I don't even use it. I always just use a reference area on my machine top or something like that to go by, like whether it be in like laying a couple of fingers right beside of my machine, however far distance I want to be, so. Okay, pull a wind lap. All right. You got this, girly. So you just needed me to be on here for a cheer as a cheerleader, so. <laughs> the closest to a cheerleader I'll ever get. <laughs> <laughs> I never had a desire to be a true cheerleader. Me either. I was never big into the sports teams or other stuff like group activities through school mentioned going to a botanical gardens i'm up for that <laughs> for a field trip but nope a lot of it's because of being an asthmatic and everything you, you get taken out of so much stuff because you just can't do it a cheerleading requirement Tons of energy. Uh, yes. I mean, it's so much better. Wow. Look at that. I'm not even having to do anything. A uh, yup. Oh. <laughs> Everybody, we made her day. This is awesome. I just got to keep it straight. Oh, I'm sorry, Sylvia. She said she got beat up by a cheerleader gang. Yeah, they're snob. A lot of them are snobs. That yeah, it's because reason. they're spoiled little brats. Not all of them, but some of them are just the spoiled world. little brats. Yep, they think they own the world. But I will say not all of them because I have met some that are super sweet. And usually it's the spoiled little rich girls that are too. Uh, everybody's saying, yay, Katie, way to go. Woohoo! Also, really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I, I was originally going to do these stitches an inch apart, but then after hearing feedback from everybody about you wouldn't have good drape. It would be too stiff, especially. You gotta remember. You gotta remember when you're doing your quilting, Katie. I've learned this the hard way. The closer the stitches are, the stiffer the blanket's gonna be. Nora, you gotta move, girlfriend. You're in the way of the foot, and it's making me <laughs> have to stretch my leg. My she dog to be the desk. If she's, she's not between. touching mommy, then she's not beside, then she's, then she's lonely. Yep. <laughs> it's like she's got to be between my foot and that darn pedal. <laughs> Awkward quilter Lisa wants to know, Katie, what machine are you sewing on? I am sewing on a Janome 6700P. Lori Coggins, so, um, and if I said your name wrong, I'm so sorry. She said that we all get by with a little help from our friends. That's Robin right. Marie says, Katie, write yourself a note on how you accomplish putting your quilt foot on so you don't get frustrated in the future. Yep, that's great. Good idea. Good idea. Worst case scenario, always result back to this video. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> At least now I know where to put it. Before I wasn't sure. You it's could hard. always try and create use th that portion of the video to create a short. Yep. Like this Which is might help other people that have the same machine. Yep. This is where you put it, right there. Oh well, so, Sylvia, um, Sylvia says she was saved by the band crew. She was what? Saved by the band crew from the cheerleaders. Yeah, the band kids will say something. 
Joyty said she was too cool to be a cheerleader. I was a baton twirler. Ah, <laughs> that's <laughs> part of the band. Yes. <laughs> Lori says, or call Danelle if you need help with putting it on again. <laughs> yeah. I need an angel over here. Come help me, please. I was having trouble even basting the dumb thing. I don't know what the deal was. I don't baste mine. Well, I use pins. That's the only way I can baste. Oh, I don't have, well, yeah, I don't... that I do. I usually try and just mainly do like around the edges, outside edges. And I better pay attention i do have four or five in the middle somewhere but they're not where i'm at right now and i'll take them out when i get there I'm andrea just, says i was always the fat nerdy kid in the and the cheerleader crowd always snubbed me unless they needed help with homework oh yeah let's yeah help means do their homework yeah i i used to charge for doing their homework I'm like, if you're going to use me, then I'm going to use you right back. That's right. Make some money off of your abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Awkward Kilter says, hi, Janice. Just watched your live from K with Katie Awesome. Thank you for coming. I, yeah, yeah I, I believe this is the first time I've seen you in here. I actually completely missed um, your live this morning with her. And that's because I was, I had, uh, Leanna from Pastry Queen's Farm Adventures on my live stream this morning. Yeah. And I can and we got so preoccupied I completely forgot and wound up doing a three hour live. There is always the replay. Definitely. And that means watch hours. See, I'm about to come across a pin right now. And it's in my darn way. I'll move it. It's got to go. Ooh, I love that pink flower fabric. Uh, what mine? Oh yeah, it's uh. I still have one charm pack of that left. I had two charm packs, and I only used one for this one. That is one beautiful. Plus, yeah, it's um. Oh, let me let me refresh everybody on what it is. It is um. Uh, 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 it was flutter and shine. So I've had this for a while. Oh, Jean says she was a cheerleader and a mar majorette and was a poor girl and not in any cliques well you were in our clique gene so we then love you then you were lucky not to be in a clique because there's a lot of that going on in high school yeah cliques equals nothing besides a lot of in high school cliques equal a lot of backstabbing it was hard for me um because you know even if i'm i made friends but i didn't have a ton of them yeah, I was always the loner. I could never bring I could never bring any of my friends home because the once one or two times I did, they never came back again because my dad scared the crap out of me. I was always a loner and would just my thing was I wanted to go to school, do what I had to do, and get on out of there. Yeah. School was my escape though. Robin but Marie says that her dad signed her up for cheerleading. I got and two fights the first week, and they kicked me out. <laughs> oh, no. What did you get in a fight about? Oh, well. Jordy is laughing her took us off. And Liz says, in the future, you may be able to, to base the quilt with Elmer's flu if you can get it. Um. Do you mean out of the bottle or, or do you mean like the rub on kind? For some basting stuff, like my smaller projects, I just use a glue stick to baste. That way there I don't have to uh pin and it washes out when I when the when the item gets washed. So can y'all see this? Yup. Does it look okay? Looks good. Okay. Hi. Uh, Fallon. All right. So I've got. Hey, Fallon. Again. <laughs> what side of that tape did I do that on? I started in the center, so I went. Okay. So Wait, no. I'm, I'm thinking I don't need to put it. If I just keep my Facebook, try to keep a straight line without putting more tape on it. What do you think? Y'all think I should put more tape on here or try winging it? What's I should just wing it. Okay. 
You know, there is no right or wrong answer. You do what you feels right to you. And okay. just let the creative juices flow. Hey, G Denise. She was, we had a good time this morning. Liz says she was referring to the bottle, Elmer Glue. Okay. Uh, yeah, like I'll Ian, I know Ian Tan, when he does like his, uh, I think it's Ian that does it. But he does like little drops of glue, just little teeny tiny drops, and then those ironed over the fabric. Yeah. Which uh makes the glue dry faster. Okay. I could be wrong on who it is, but I believe it's Ian that does that for his binding. This one needs to start. Robin Marie says that two of the girls were picking on this tiny little girl and she and I got in trouble. Ah, because you weren't putting up with their crap. Lori says wing it. Okay, I need to figure out where to start this next. So these are going in the center. So this next one's got to start right here. And these pins are in the darn way. Of where that seam's got to go, so I need to move them or take them off right here since I got that seam right here now. Okay, I need be right back. I need a ruler so I can see where the line is going to be. Yeah, Andrea says it is totally up to where your comfort level is, but if it was her, she would do the tape unless you have a visible reference point. Yeah, I, I have a reference point. It's the corner to corner of these. Um, here I'll show you. Uh, the patchwork. Yeah. Uh, going corner to corner. Yeah, I would say just follow that. Yeah, but if that's the if, if that's what you're basing your taping upon, then I would say just follow that reference point. Yeah, that's what I did. Uh, the only part of it's difficult is. When you get to the sashing and the two borders, there's no. Um, you could always try and tape right through there, though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about doing was putting tape right there. I'll be, let me go grab the tape. That way you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. And more so that way there you got something to go by instead of just a big, huge, empty, blank space there, too. Yeah, and I think I should have got a shorter ruler. <laughs> it happens. I do know it's three inches between the two. Yeah, Fallon says that she thinks I'm right, that she thinks it is Ian that does the glue basing of the uh, binding. I know multiple people do the glue basing. It doesn't when you press the quilt after, you know, when you're pressing the quilt to, after you finish um, quilting it, you're not going to have it come through and get on the iron. What, the glue? Yeah. No, it actually kind of dries on, in there. And then when are you, first time the quilt gets washed, it just washes away. Oh, okay. So Terry, it. so Terry says, you know, you asked where I got fabric for the dress a, dress a girl around the world, and I got it on an Etsy shop called My Fabric Addiction. Thank you. Thank you, said Terry. Yeah, I've been shopping through them as well. I just wasn't for sure the best place to go to get that fabric. I've had the worst time with buying on Etsy. So it's made me gun shy. Yeah, I've been a little on the iffy part about posting much more stuff on Etsy because I kind of had looked it all up. Over last year, I really didn't make that much off of there. I made more from my craft shows than I did on my Etsy. It's, every time we tried to buy, um, well, two times it's been us trying, or Nikolai buying um, Legos from an Etsy shop. And it would be uh, quite a bit of items if he would buy at one time. And then we'd wait, and we'd wait, and we'd wait, and we'd wait. Nothing. 
<laughs> but we did get so, our money. Fallon oh. says that I was more of a straight A's and read a lot kind of <laughs> kid. Yeah, I loved reading, especially if it was about horses. Lisa from Awkward Quilter says you can also use your Janome walking foot guard. I can't figure out where to put the guard at. Yeah, we're, we're since we got the foot on there now, we can't figure out where the hole is for yeah, the there guard to go in. Seem to be a hole. And I can't really see anything from my view over here, so. Yeah, um, I don't know if I can even get the camera around there for you. Oh, no, let me try. Yeah, if you can get me back there, I might be able to spot it for you. Here's the site. Yeah, all I'm seeing is the little lever for the for raising the foot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't worry about it for now. We got figure it figured out, so for right now. I just knocked off the power thing. Sorry, this is all a hot mess. Because <laughs> I'm trying to do the quilt. <laughs> you will get it figured out, girl. Yeah, this is why I need an overhead camera. Then this wouldn't be a problem. Oh, no. I missed a part of a conversation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you all missed right. a conversation about cheerleading and Robin beating up some cheerleaders. <laughs> See, Andrea, I, it was Ian who did the tutorial on glue basing. Okay, I thought it was Ian. Thank you, Andrea and Fallon and everybody else. See, Fallon says, oh, no, the cheerleaders at her high school all hung out together. They would have never talked to me. I wonder why that, cheer, I wonder why cheerleaders became the way they are. What turned them into the type of people they were that they didn't think they could be friends with everybody? Who knows? It's the same with like football players and all. It's like, oh, you're nothing because you don't do this. The awkward quilter Lisa says there is a tiny hole in the bottom toward on the bottom towards the back. And Jane says it should be a small V looking hole. I'm assuming it's your cell phone that you're using for the sewing machine camera. Did you find I it? Found it. <laughs> awesome sauce. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Now she can save her tape. <laughs> yep. How much easier that is going through there now. Yeah, Jean says not all are that way. I certainly wasn't. I was not popular either. Yeah, Jean, not not everybody in the clique is mean and everything. It's just sometimes it's just the overall bad eggs make the good eggs look bad. How many of you guys have watched the movie Mean Girls? Me. Why? Why do I watch it? Yeah. For the drama. Well, the problem is, is that those kind of movies is why she's actually act. Say what now? Ah, Coda. Coda. <laughs> Dakota. Oh no, Sylvia dropped her needle. Excuse me. Shh. Enough. Plot. Plot. No. Plot. 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 So, what is everybody else working on today? I think my dog is getting senile. 
he hears crunch on the snow. Now he barks at it. You didn't used to do that. Jordy is so funny. She goes, I agree. Not all were that way. It's just fun to pick on them 40 years later. <laughs> yeah, because they're not so high and mighty then. Andrea says in school they were very cliquish, but now the ones who are still alive have found out that my ancestors settled the land that is now the town and treat me like I am their best friend. Yeah. It's funny how aging mellows you to be more kind. Or you could be more hateful, I guess, but... And Fallon says, I think it's for the end. The end brings it together as to why it's not good to treat people that way. That is definitely true. Yep. Lori says she's finishing up an embroidery bench pillow. And um, Sylvia is going to try that next time. This? I'm not for sure. So um, I want input. I still don't have a name for this pattern. So why don't you guys, why don't you, all of y'all, give some thought to it. And I don't know, I'll set up a, something on the community tab and in the Greenland Quilter post, uh, a post saying, what do you think it should be named? So Glenda says her dog started running around trying to find your dog. And Awkward Quilter Lisa is cutting scraps, just don't feel like sewing today. Aw. Yeah, I keep finding myself today while doing live streams, being busy talking or watching and reading yeah, the you... chat instead of actually doing a whole lot of sewing today. I can understand that. I, um, yesterday, I kind of didn't want to sew at all, but then... Once I knew I was going to start that live yesterday, I'm like, nope, there's no way out of this now. Okay. I like Andrea's name. She what said did she you didn't, should name it the walking foot quilt. The walking foot quilt? Oh, cool. <laughs> and anybody and everybody that watches the live stream will, will, will understand. understand why. Yeah, they'll know why. Because it's the first time I've used it since I've had this machine. And I've had this machine how long? almost four years and I'm only using like 30% of its capabilities. But I, I, I don't know if you heard me tell a story about this machine or not. So I'm going to tell it. When my husband bought this, he bought it for Christmas. And so it got here in January when we got it from Denmark. And we opened the box on the dining table and I'm looking at it. And oh my God, I'm thinking it's such a beautiful machine. But then I got to looking at the manual and I'm like, um, uh, um, 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 you know, and um, that machine sat on the dining table for 10 months. Oh no. And one day, and Nikolai didn't say a thing about it. He didn't complain about it. He didn't ask me why after spending that kind of money, I was leaving it sitting there like that. He knew I was afraid of it because I was afraid of it. I've never had such a fancy machine before. And um, then one one night, because I got aggravated at the little singer I was sewing on, because it kept eating my triangles on my PMQ is what the problem was. And I walked in, I walked in there where he was gaming and I said, you know, this is really stupid. And he says, what is, honey? I said, the fact that that machine's sitting on the table and I'm not using it. He says, okay. He didn't argue the point or nothing. And I said, I told him, I said, you know what? Tonight I'm going to quit being afraid of it. He says, what you want to do? Will you help me move it into the sewing room? He says, you got it. So he went in there and he set it up. We got it all plugged in and it took me an hour and a half to figure out how to thread it because I didn't. Uh, on my singer, the tension thing is totally different. The horse with no name. <laughs> I like that song. Um, yes. But for 10 months, it sat there not doing anything. All right, I need another piece of tape. Nora, no. 
What are they gonna do now? She's wanting, I don't know, she wants something. No. No, no. I'm busy. Needy child. All right, where's my ruler? They all always want something. Yep, she's very needy. They've been outside, so I know that's not what it is. That long rule is a little too long for the desk. So let's try this one. Hey. Jordy says, yep, Robin. Jordy also says, send Narado, me, Katie. Hello. I'm gonna just have to. So guess. Jordy is saying, saying, send her the dog. <laughs> I think it's the dog she's referring to. Yeah, it's the standard Dotson. It's the big one. So I can never, I never remember. I never heard her call that before. I always, just heard, always heard you call her Nor Nora. Yeah. Her name's Nora, but um, she's actually a standard Dotsy. She's not oh, the okay. Many. She's not the many. Let's see. Sylvia says, being a loner introvert didn't help. Found it back. Found it back to sewing. Um, Robin, there you go. The no name foot quilt. <laughs> Somebody mentioned about calling it the the brick quilt because when you look at it from a distance, it looks like a brick wall. Yeah, I haven't actually even seen the quilt, so I couldn't tell you. Yeah, it it's when you see it at a distance, it does look like a brick wall. It looks like brick piecing. Why does this look like it's not turned right? Probably because I'm looking at it weird. Turns out when you're using pens to pin your stuff. So that way that you could surge it. Yeah. Make sure you get the pins out of the way before your serger. Because your serger will cut through the pins. Mm -hmm. I found that out the hard way. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. Here, let me lift the foot for a minute. All the way up. And push the rule up against the needle for a minute. Uh, I hate the fact that my tracking on my PMQ is stating that it is still awaiting the package because it's driving me crazy. I want, I, I want it. Give me, give me, give me. Well, guess what? Mine's not coming until, mine's not getting shipped out until sometime next week. Aw, why is that? I have no perfect idea. Oh, okay. Maybe because the demand for the the um garden one was I didn't that pin this on correctly. Heck no. Dag burn it. Let's go put that piece of tape there just temporary. And I'm gonna waste some. I don't want to take the needle out of the fabric. All I gotta do is just make sure I keep that needle within that perimeter. All right, let's take that one off. Ah. Uh oh. Oh, it's completely about to surge this edition of the hood on inside out. Oh, that would have been bad. Yeah, I've already had it sur surging stitches out before, and they are not fun to rip. Nope. I'd much rather I I've never had a surger, so I don't know how hard it would be to rip stitches out. Oh, it is horrible because you're ripping out like on the sun machine, you're ripping out two threads. From a surger, you're ripping out four to five, depending upon your surger. Okay. That are all interlooped together. I had to do it yesterday and it took me like four hours to rip out the cuff because I had already surged the cuff on backwards. I was like, man, it's a backwards kind of day. 
maybe sometimes yeah sometimes these things happen yeah joydy says to her it is nora as well and sylvia says she's hand quilting Gene, are you still in here? Katie, if you have a point turner, you can use that to make the crease and then sew along the crease. Oh, I think I know. Are you talking about the little, um, hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I don't think I have one over here with me. I know what she's talking about. Got that little bit of a sharpish type of edge where you can be able a lot of people would make creases with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little white item. What is it called? But I don't know what it's... Oh, are you talking about this? Yeah, she's referring to that. Okay. Yeah, you can use that, but the only problem is the fact that the more you move it the less your crease is going to be there then. Okay. <coughs> okay. Now that'll be correct once I get it searched. This stitch looks much better, by the way. Good. So, so it was it, this one, this first line where the stitch looks like it's really tight was because it wasn't moving fast enough. That's what was going on. Okay, I get the problem now. Thank you for walking me through getting the walking print on. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. That's what we're here for. All right, now let me see if I can get this next line set. All right. Hi, baby Sky. Hi, baby Sky. He's over, my little buddy is over here chirping up a storm. Robin says me. she'll be right back. She's got to feed the doggies. Okay. Oh, no. Lori says she bought a serger eight years ago and it's still in the box. <laughs> so I shouldn't feel too guilty, huh? I love my serger. I was, my husband bought me my first one years ago and I was terrified of it. It just sat there in the, in the carrying bag that it came with. They had like, I here. Yeah, he bought it for me, and uh, I pulled it out, and I looked at it, I go, hmm, no, mm -mm. no, and then it was like a year ago, I wanted to try something or other, and I wanted to search the seams, and I'm like, you know, I'm going to pull it out, I, uh, I'm just going to jump in there and do it, and I did it, and I fell in love, and now I cannot stop. Now, what did I do with that? Oh, here it is. Let See you, Kathleen. To... Get some rest, hon. I hope you. I hope everything's okay with you, girl. Yeah, she says uh, she needs to get some rest. She'll see us later. Let's see the I think. Yeah, Sylvia says she's also used like a sliver of white soap to help draw the lines. You know, I have a um. Did I got? came in something it was a um i've never i always heard the soap trick Taylor's chalk pen. i love those the only difference is the fact that it can be a little difficult at times to get that out even if it's a light color i've never tried it with a white one but i have used it at times on other projects of like the pink or the uh or the pencil I'm not sure what color this is. I'm going to have to open it and look at it. Um, if I it's the same it one that I got, which it looks like it is, it has a uh, pink, white, and silver. Oh, no, it's not the same one I got. Mine has multiple this... colors in it, so. That's just white. Um... Should be able to tell from the chalk color. Wait a oh, it has... No, it's actually pink. See? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'd trust that just in case it doesn't come out. 
because you really don't want to use anything that's not going to be able to wipe off or whatnot, because otherwise it'll be seen in there. But I also have some tailor chalk, some regular white tailor's chalk. Yeah. I haven't tried any. It, it, the one I got um, came with pink and blue, and I've heard people talking about the blue just as um, I don't know the problem. But the white will probably be all right on this. Glenda says, been working on Katie's quilt pattern, but it looks totally different from hers. That's a lot. That's the way my brain works backwards. <laughs> it's no. okay, Glenda. You're making it your own. That's the important part. Yeah, that's right. And besides, I want. can you post a picture of it on the um, Facebook group so I can see it? Because I bet it's pretty. It doesn't have to look just like mine. And then mm -hmm. Jordy says, oh, no, Lori, pull it out, and you'll love it when you get used to it. That's right. You will love the serger. I fell in love with mine. I serge everything now. I just don't know what the purpose of a serger is. Well, like with, like for me, because I love doing these ja these quilted jackets, so I serge my seams so that way there it helps lock everything in, and I don't have to worry about any fraying. Um, a lot. I also use it as well as Ian does too, and everything. Serge the edge of the quilt, uh, before you bind it, because then it makes putting the binding on a lot easier. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm yeah, it locks all three. All, locks the edges of all three layers together, so that way there it makes it so much easier for doing the uh, the um binding on it. Um, a lot of some some quilters even just quilt with a serger instead of using sewing machine. They do everything with a serger. That's interesting. Hey, this crease line's pretty cool. Let's see how long it stays. Laura says I have an old serger I used once or twice thirty years ago. I get a baby lock three years ago and use it all the time. Threading the first one was a headache. The baby lock auto threads. That is super cool. I wanted to get an auto throttle whenever I got this replacement here, but I it was not in my price range. Let's see, Jordy says, Laura, I want to buy an air threader. Which one do you have? Denise says, I bought a serger from my boss. He was going through a divorce, took a class. The teacher was upset that I didn't know how to use it. So it has been sitting for 20 for about 20 years collecting dust. I'm sorry, Denise. Sad when people manage to. See, Andrea says, I had three sergers. I used to make costumes for the college theater department, and I used sergers. They still use the can-can girl costumes I made in the late 80s. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Laura you know, says, I had the Baby Lock own. Evolution and love it. I wanted the ovation, but didn't want to spend that much at the time. Machines are not cheap these days. Jordy says, watch Angela Wolf tutorials or take her online class. She's great. Okay. Liz says to test the chalk first. To do what? To test the chalk first before you before using it over the quilt. Okay, okay, Roger that. I and used to do, what did you see. all call this again? What is this uh, called? Uh, Janice called it the point turner tool because you do use it to like turn the point, yeah, push the points it. out. Yep. This put a crease, and I followed it all the way across where it was supposed to go. So that might be the ticket for this. Awesome. So, Jordy, the surgery my husband got me, it was actually like a 50-50 between my husband and myself. He's paying for half of it for Valentine's Day, and I'm paying, on the, I'm paying the other half of it because we financed it. And it was the Singer S1478. And so far, I'm in love with it. I've had zero problems with it, and I've been playing with it since I got it. Okay, Laura says, Jordy, the baby lock searchers are a bit more expensive, but the auto thread is worth it. Is a brother is a brother um searcher a good one too? I don't know, honestly. I've only had one searcher before I got this one here, and both of them are singers. They sell the brother here searchers, but they're pricey. 
I mean, you could always get it and try it. And if you don't like it, just make sure you find out what their return policy is beforehand. Okay, I was just curious. And, and then, then I would say to I would say just look it up and do a lot of research. Okay. So, are you guys happy to see this being this? We are you happy that you're finally seeing me do this part part of it on this little quilt? What's your thoughts? And I do want to see the. I know that um, Andrea is working on this quilt pattern. Where are you at on yours, Andrea? She's making a big one. I, I think she said she was making a king size one. Oh, it's called oh, a creaser. Andrea says it's called a creaser, and that is the original purpose for it. Oh, okay. Uh, Lori says she's got a Bernina serger. Denise Jordy says, says I agree, Laura. I almost bought an air threader last year, but so used to my brother. I search baby and children's quilts that are going to be washed a lot, said Andrea. Which makes a lot of sense because if it's got, the more it's going to be washed, the more security it needs to, to make sure it stays together. Liz says awesome. Denise says it. it it's also known as a Hera marker that I did not know, I didn't know which that. I think you just said a minute ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Andrea said it's called a creaser and that's the original purpose for it. Jordy says, I like mine. So sweet of him. Definitely. Yeah, my previous one, it, Jordy, it refused to work for me, and I got frustrated because I still had the rest of this jacket to finish, and I, I had a lot more surging to do, and I was freaking out, and I walked out there. I go, that's it. I'm done. My husband, I, I'm I'm, I'm going to scream. I'm like, I'm just going to have to finish this on my sewing machine, and it's not going to come out as good and as professional looking. He goes, what's going on? So I sat down and explained to him. He goes, okay, let's look and see what we can figure out. <laughs> Man, I really yeah. wish Andrea says I have a brother and two singers I like the singer better me too Andrea I haven't tried any others but I like my singer my mother had a singer that I loved using it was it was a tough bird let me tell you but that one that little singer count that I started doing this on too much plastic. Laura says, I sometimes have issues with my hands, so threading machines these days have on threading machines these days is too difficult. My serger and sewing machines have automatic threading. Jordy says, Huh? This one has an automatic feeder. I mean, threader. But do I use it? No, because I get frustrated with them. It's if you don't do it, do it exactly the same way you're supposed to do it, it won't thread it. Uh, Jordy said she has an inexpensive one, but it works great, no problems. Denise <laughs> says, yes, I'm learning along with and taking notes. Cool. Maybe one day on one of my live streams, I'll show my surger and using it and everything. I love it. Right I now, I just have it set up on the table behind me. Idea. I think that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, because, you know, I don't really ever see any of the other content creators that we follow and everything doing surgers. So mm -hmm. that'd be a fun thing to show on here on my channel. Yeah, it would be something different. Okay, let's so see. this one's got one, two on that side. So let's It'll just one. be a few. It'll just be a couple weeks before I do it. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I understand. Let's get this off. And let's see here. What? 
Yes. Andrea says, I'm not very far, but it is what is on my machine now. I have had a sewing room at set since my daughter moved back in. Uh-oh. When children move in, things get moved out or put away. Katie, I mean, Glenda, don't even worry about it. I will share that on to uh, onto Katie's page if you want. So, Yeah, please do. Because she's trying to have Facebook message me a picture of a scramble quilt that she's working on. Yeah, um, is she not on Facebook? I don't know. She has. To, she's still working on figuring out Facebook and stuff. So, okay, yeah. If she doesn't mind you posting it in the group, go right ahead. And I'll, and, or you can send it to me, and I'll post it on the community tab of the channel. One yeah, the Glenda, others. do you want me to post it on the uh, community page for you? Because there's a community page it, that, that it can be put on also. So I can even tag you in it as as you being the one that making it for you. So yeah. See, Laura says. See, Laura says my daughter is a nurse in the NICU, and I make a lot of blankets for the babies in her unit. I search pretty much all of them. Oh wow, that is awesome. That has to make you feel really good. Robin says, I got a serger when I graduated college in 95. It's still in the box, never opened. It's here somewhere. Oh, Robin. No. Pull that poor how defensive long, how, little how thing outside of, out of its how, box and use it. Yeah. How long have you had it? How many 20, years? Uh, she said when she graduated in 95. I bet you that one is worth money. <laughs> Especially since it's still in its original box and everything and unopened. And then Jordy says, that's wonderful, Laura. Michelle, the quilter, says, hi, Katie and Danelle. Hey. Hey, hey. And she also says, nice show with Janice earlier. I subbed to her channel. My husband is watching your airport on YouTube live today after you mentioned it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Did you, oh, did, you guys, did you guys see the little short video I posted of the snow? I seen the little snippet of the little, not even the video, but I seen the view. I was like, no, mm -mm, I want nothing to do with that white stuff. It was, four, it was four minutes long. I'll go back and watch it, but I'm like, ugh. Ever since I fell outside, I want zero to do with snow or ice. Yeah, I've been spent. I spent half, uh, I've been going like uh, I don't know. Every time I take the dogs outside to do their business, I take the shovel with me and dig out more. So I have about another fifty feet to go before I'm at the road. Oh my gosh! Yep, because we got two days worth of that stuff, and it's but it's been so cold that it's not soft anymore. So it's like when you cut into it, it's like you're cutting into this styrofoam block and you just toss it aside it's kind of funny and it makes that uh styrofoam crunching noise when you're walking on it hey y'all so if you're wondering what color thread i'm using on here i am using um aurafil 2600 dove It seems to go really well with most of the colors. I haven't used white in a really long time. I am so happy about y'all. Oh my God, y'all have made my night. So now I feel like I accomplished something that I was, you know, couldn't figure out. Nora dog hair is on this quilt top. Nora. <laughs> Little black hairs. Uh-huh. Probably because I was using my ironing board because I don't have a table wide enough and long enough to base this, you know, base the quilt on. So I was using my ironing board. And so parts of the quilt kept touching the floor. Let's move this about in. Uh-oh. Looks like you're not seeing what I'm doing. I'm sorry, you guys. 
I guess I need you to are it. completely fine. Just do your thing. I got this here. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's see, Janice says, thanks, Michelle. Jordy says, that would be great, Danelle, for me to do the surgery on my live stream sometime. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I didn't even think about that until now. Then again, I've also still been learning it myself. So I wanted to get, I figured eventually I would do it, but. Since I got the new machine, it's so easy to use. So, Laura said she started searching the edges of quilts and then buying them. Okay, time to mark again. Lori says that would be good because then my thing just jumped. Hang on one second. That would be good because mine is basically a door stopper. <laughs> <laughs> Jordy says, oh, no, Robin, never opened. See, I'm not the only strange person that's afraid of something that didn't open it. Andrea says, says this thing squirts acting off funny on me. Andrea says, my daughter is 46 years old and just moved back home, but it won't be long. I bet since she keeps ragging on me about all my stuff and I tell her it is my space and my stuff. Live with it or don't. Go that is away. right. Hey, yo, Patty G. Hey, Patty G. How's it going? <laughs> Robin Marie says it's a singer. Oh, you definitely got to pull that out. Yeah, you, you can't do. just let a singer yeah, sit in a, a box. We want to see it. See what 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 that looks like. Sit, Andrea sit. says she watched your little video and it is way too much snow for her. <laughs> I figured I'd get some kind of reaction like that. Like, whoa, that's a lot of snow. The right it way, Jan. See, Janet says it was beautiful, Katie. Robin Thank said it's you. awesome. Coming along. I'm getting one side done. Yay, Make Glenda says posted, but it's a blurry. I'll go take a look at it in just a little bit and see what we can do to help you. Yep. Frank McNett, if I said your name wrong, your last name wrong, I am so sorry. Says, now you got something to do, Robin. <laughs> Robin says, yeah, Frank, like 12,000 hexagons is not enough. 12,000. Oh, my goodness. I can't even. That just says, that's the one brain. she uses as well. That boggles my brain. A show the quilter says, where is the video? What video? I think she's referring to your snow one. If you go um on onto my channel part and if you look where it says playlist, click on the one that says live. And it'll be at the top. It should be right there because it looks like a short, but it's not. Hang on. I'll, I'll share the link. I don't know why I'm telling you when I can show it to you. <laughs> Hang on. Give me a minute. That was silly of me when I have access. Hang on. Let me go get it. You silly girl. I don't know what I was thinking. Who knows? <laughs> Andrea says, Danelle, make a baby or a child put on there so they can see how easy it is. I definitely will. It is super easy and so much fun playing with my serger. Okay, let me go fetch that video. There it is. Frank is asking if Robin is gaining on the Hetsies. Robin says, yes. Iris Cell ladies in the house. Good evening, Kitty and Danelle. Hey, did link, Linda. Did that, link, did that link show up? Yes, it did. Okay, making sure. I don't want that bot being weird. Glenda says she watched the snow video and it's beautiful, but she's also glad she's not there. <laughs> when hey, it's 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 a treat to get to to um uh video it when it's that pristine because when i walked out the door i'm like oh my god i need sunglasses because i got blinded because it was the sun was shining and you know all of that fresh and it's it, in the video you might notice 
my house is dingy compared to the snow. And, you know, because my house is painted white. We're, the, we're, we're only one or two houses that has white paint on our house. Everybody else has got colored houses. Yeah, see, Andrea says she's going to go check on the babies and she'll be right back. Okay. You didn't lose any more, did you? Not as of this morning. As of this oh. morning during my live stream, she went to go check on them, came back. Because she told me, she goes, do not end your live until I come back. I'm like, yes, ma'am. So okay. she came back and says, so far, the babies from the last two bunnies were all still there and wiggling, wiggling around in their nest. Oh, well, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. So totally sad yesterday when she said that they lost like 20 babies. Yeah, that's a lot of babies to lose, especially when they're for food. Yeah. And Lori said, see, Glenda said, do, 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 do. Lori said, Kay Woods used to make surgery quilts. Yeah, there's been a couple of people I've actually watched to how to do sur to surge quilts whenever I had done, done a uh, wall hanging for a veteran. Because I was doing it from her uniforms, and she's actually supposed to bring it back to me sometime or another for me to put the backing on, because she wanted it where the front of it could be up on the wall, hanging up, and then uh, and then the backing of it would be laying on the on a tabletop for everybody to sign. And then she was going to bring it back for me to add the backing and the binding to it. So. Jordy, I'm not really for sure. You'll have to ask Andrea when she comes back in. I think she says something had, had killed them. Had, like, killed, like, 20 of the bunny babies. So that means it got into the cage? Huh? That means it got into whatever killed them was in the cage? I'm not really for sure the details. Wow. I'm guessing whatever it was got into the bunny cage and killed off 20 of the babies. He, All I know is that she, the 20 of the babies, she walked outside yesterday and 20 of the babies were dead. Dang, that's not true. And the only way I can think of 20 babies all dying is something getting in there. Yeah. And not having enough time to eat them. Yep. Talk to you later, Sylvia. She says she has to go make dinner. Okay, thank you for coming. I'll be posting a picture of this um when I get finished blowing it. But and then, then the next. It depends on what time is it now. Hey, Laura. Oh, Laura good. asked Robin, "What size hexagons is she using?" And Robin responded back with three quarter inch. There's some some tiny, tiny hexes. I just can't do it. three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of Ooh. an inch. Oof, so small. <laughs> Which is like. That small right there. So like the size of a what a, a quarter maybe? It's like that small right there. I got it up on a ruler. Yep, that is tiny. No, thank you. <laughs> Lori says sometimes the mail fills them. Oh wow. I didn't know that. I did not know that either. Is it because the females... Hey, Teresa Louise! Hey, girl! You back? Welcome back! You can still you want to come join the want. party? Yeah, go, come join the party. You already sent her the link, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Come join the party. Let's sew. Woo -hoo, the more the merrier. That's right. Oh, Lori says she's working on one-inch EPP. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, one inch is tiny also. I haven't gotten brave enough to do that yet. The only way I was so with a one inch piece of fabric is if it's one inch wide strips that I'm putting in as um sashing. Yeah. That's sashing. the only one inch that's the only one inch fabric I will sew with. Yeah. Anything else needs to be like two inch or more. The the sashing in between these uh uh charm squares, that was uh -huh. one inch. That yeah, I've done nice. a quilt before with one inch, and it was awesome. I loved it. I did a hexagon one where it's like the tiled hexagons for like a cathedral window type of look, type of thing. Yeah. Robin says, 
Okay, wait a minute. Let me go back up where it starts back properly. So, Lori says, those are small. I'm working on one inch EPP. Marin, I think is how you say it. M-A-R-A-N. If I said it wrong, I'm so sorry. It's waving hi. Maybe it's Marin. Either Marin or Marin. One of them. Yeah, I'm not really for sure how you say it. If I said it wrong, I am so sorry. I am not great with my pronunciation sometimes. Let us know how it's supposed to be pronunciated so we don't butcher it. You should see some of the names that Greenlanders have. Some of them I can't even say. Yeah, I try my best, but I can always get it right now. But and whenever I mess up a name, I feel bad, but without actually hearing someone t tell me how it sounds, how to pronounce it, then I just don't know. Yeah. See, Lori says it happened to us just awful. I think she's talking about the babies. Robin says I'm doing this one because my stupid ARS didn't pay attention to the size and the pattern I want to make, which is a half inch, and I want to use these hexagons. Oh. Mm -hmm. Whoever suggested this, thank you, because this is definitely making the coping process easier. I want to say it was Janice, but I could be wrong. Because at least now I'm not having to put more tape on here. Yeah. Want me to go back to the table to do it. And let's see, Frank says some predators don't eat right away. Glenda says, Hi, Teresa Louise. And Robin says, I'm still looking for a Fisker's half inch paper punch. Ooh, Teresa Louise is coming in. All right. At least I think that's what that stands for. B T I A M. I'm taking it as B right there. Yeah, be in a there moment. in a minute. Oh, oh, there she is. Yay, Teresa oh, Lee. Yay. <laughs> oh, Ooh, really? I love your shirt. That is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Is that an it's angel fish? Um, I think it's a tiger fish or one of the okay. two. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, Gorgeous. Just an old sweatshirt that I cut okay. up. <laughs> you know, those are the, my mother used to do that to all her shirts, including her brand new ones. I yeah. banned her from ever doing it because she's like, the crew neck's choking me. I'm like, bring it to me. I'll turn it to a V-neck for you. I'm like, quit yeah, slicing like and dicing into your shirts. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll mail you all my shirts and you can uh, fix them for me because yes, I can't stand that either. Anything touching my my throat you know uh, yeah so i put a slice in it right here i cut the <laughs> collar off then i put an angle slice in it you know and, and i even cut the sleeves off you know so there's no oh my gosh you just butcher the whole thing yeah i butcher the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but now i love it <laughs> so. you know Teresa louise i think this is the first time that me or me and you are actually in the same bit live stream together I think so too. Yeah, I think so too. Well, I can actually hear each gals, other. <laughs> I appreciate you girls, you gals coming to help me out while I'm doing this. Cause oh, not a problem. All yeah. right, let me show you how much of it I got done so far, because so, you should be able to see the seams, maybe. Oh, awesome. that is so pretty. Let me turn it to the what, how it should be. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, so for your quote, the whole design is reminding me of Tetris. It's reminding yeah. me of Tetris? Is that what you yeah. just said? Yeah, that little game that you would play for Tetris yeah. or yeah. Tetris. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of is the blocks where you got to put them all in different orientations to get them to all fit. Can That's you hold it, hold it up so we can see the back too, Katie? Yeah, hold on. Okay. Let me make sure I, I got the I love how that turned out. That yeah, yeah so that that, article is going really well. Yeah, yeah, nice. Very when nice. I when I finish doing the diagonal in that direction, then I'm going to go in the other direction, and it should look okay. Yeah, it should look great. But thank you, everybody. Thank you, all of y'all, because um, 
Many said don't do close together stitches. Right. And but do them further apart. And I'm glad I'm doing it like this because it does it looks nice. Yeah, it looks great. My first time doing something like this. Oh, is it? Yeah, I've only quilted itty bitty things. Oh, okay. Well, Nothing it looks like you're doing a great job. And did did I hear you put a walking foot on? Yes, he did. I, he did. did. I, I helped her do it. Awesome. <laughs> My foot is on the, the machine. She I was going to wait until she came to the States to find out how to do it. I'm like, put oh. the camera other closer. I'm like, we can figure this out. I'm like, I'm right. good at puzzles. And they can see, they can see back there what I couldn't see of where it was supposed to go. Oh. The, the little arm goes right here somewhere. I see. I tried putting the walking foot on mine. Well, I did. I put it on and I used it and it was, it just seemed so loud to me. So I couldn't, I couldn't take it. So I turned. I took it back off. <laughs> You're gonna be okay, amazing. Andrea says all the rest of the babies so far are good. Oh, good, good. Oh, good. You'll be yep. amazed at how quiet this foot is. I'm like, wow, it's so quiet. Cool. I'm going to go get my other computer so I can see the chat. Okay. All righty. So Candace wants to know, what is the fabric that you used in that quilt, Katie? Um. Okay, so the um, the this, this, the blocks itself were made from a charm pack called Flutter and Shine. The dark blue fabric, uh, well, wait, the background is a uh, B cross stitch. The dark blue the, is by Dan Morris, but I can't remember the name of it. And as to the turquoise, I don't know. I've had it a really long time. But it came, <laughs> from, it came from Fat Quarter Chop, I can tell you that. Sorry, so if I, I the bet, birds are being a little I on the put, noisy side. I bet if I put took a picture of it and put it on Google Image, I probably would find it. Oh, look, I ran over the tape down here. Okay, so image. Andrea says the roof support came unscrewed and she had to fix that. Is that what happened to the babies, Andrea? That when the roof support came undone that it killed off all those babies? Okay, let's get this next one in. Let's do the ruler. Frank, right now we don't have a name for the club. We are trying to help her figure out a good name. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a name for it yet. And I Jordy, know I'm glad really that you like love family the, birds. Yeah, everybody's like, what's the name of? I don't know. You know what? Do like I did for my lion. At post make a post and at of uh, like a short video or whatnot and ask uh -huh. your supporters to help you name it to give you ideas and then after that take the three most favorite posts in a poll mm -hmm. and see which one wins That's which actually on my live stream today i forgot to announce to one on mine that's actually a really good idea actually because somebody might check. come up with a name that's like oh that works so, this is my first time making a design out of my head, you know, and I still got to sit down and write some of it. I haven't done it. I got so my legit it. kit, my legit kit lion. The poll I had going on, the options was Maximus, Aslan, or Motown for the name That's of right, my li my legit kit lion that I'm doing in Detroit lion colors. Uh huh. Motown one. That was the Maximus one, right? Uh, well, the options was either Maximus, Aslan, or Motown. Yeah, I voted for Maximus. So did my oldest son. My husband voted for Aslan. <laughs> I don't know what that other that other name. I don't even. What does it? Does that other name mean anything? It's, um, Aslan was the name of the lion from uh Chronicles of Narnia. Oh, that's why I didn't know that. Because I never even noticed there was a name for that line. Yep. I wasn't all that thrilled with it. I watched the movie maybe, I don't know, maybe I've only watched it once. Uh, my family owns the whole trilogy. We love those type of movies. I like the whole like fantasy, 
I like um, fantasy movies. I just don't like things where kids end up being the target. Oh, uh, well. Uh, the way I look at it, it's like it's it. They want to be in the heroes. The way I look at it, and they were not ordered to do it. They were given the option. They could have easily went home, yeah, and they chose to stay and help fight. And back in those days, it would have been the younger for the younger kids like that that would have been in charge of getting out there fighting. So, yeah, I know. And which is how the movie setting is and everything. So that's the reason why. <laughs> yeah, Jordy, I actually try and came up because someone trying and gave the option of like picking a name that represented the area I'm in. And I'm like Motown made the most sense to me for that. I'm like, because none of this, everything that I was thinking of for the cities was like St. Saint, St. Saint Clair Shores or St. Clair or something like that. And that just sounded like feminine to me. So. Someone said, someone, oh, Robin says, very nice, Katie. Awesome, Katie. Thank you, guys. All right, time to mark this one and take some more pins out. I'm slowly taking all these pins out. Okay, I'm going to come over here and surge that hood so I can get that zipper put in and get this jacket finished. <laughs> and it get off my butt for a minute. Oh. All right, let's get this raised up. Trying to make it so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, what did I do with it? Uh oh. <laughs> what you uh on about? I can't find my little, what did you call it, creaser? Really? <laughs> Hang on a minute, I've misplaced it. Should have been right here. Okay, something ate my creaser. <laughs> Where did I lay it? Say what? I laid the creaser down somewhere. Maybe I did that when I got up to show the chill. Hmm. Ooh. Let's try this until I figure out what I did with it. Nope, we're not going that way. Sorry, guys. I'm just having a little bit of uh, positioning difficulty right here. Oh, you're fine. I'll be back over there in just a second. So It must be because I'm getting closer to the side that I, the reason I'm having a little trouble with it. Because now a lot of the excess is over on the left side. That's probably what it is. Okay, now let's 
Put this ruler back up here. I don't know what I did, what happened to it. It's like not here anymore. So it's probably fell off somewhere. Hello, pastry queen. Hi there. How are you doing? Somebody said what her name was. Let me think of, let's see if I can remember. Tammy, right? Hey, Leanna. Or no, Leanna. Okay, is it Leanna yep. or Leanna? Leanna, I believe. Hey, okay. girl, how are you doing? Long time no see. She was on my live stream this morning. Yeah. Let me see if I can make a crease of this side of the screen. Yes, I can. Okay. Because I don't want to be stuck. We're on a roll here. Got to keep on, keep on going. All right. One more time. Marking, marking it. You know what I like about this, you know me? You can lift the foot up higher. On the singer, you couldn't do that. I'm going to mute myself just for a minute just because my mom's calling. Okay. Thank you for telling us. So, what are you what are you working on, Teresa? I'm I'm just playing with fabric. <laughs> okay. How's your horse is going? Kind of reorganizing. The horse is going good. Yep. Good good. Got quite a bit done last night on it, so that was fun. I'm glad. It's going to be, it's already beautiful. I can't wait to see the finished product. <laughs> Look what I just found. <laughs> what, what is it? It's the creaser that I was using. I misplaced, misplaced it a few minutes ago. Oh. It's what I'm doing without having, because there's part of this where I can't line it up anything. There's no way of lining it up. So I'm using the ruler to finish the line out because it's coming across this border. Can you hear the presser foot? What? Do you hear the presser foot? No. Yeah, it's really quiet. Yeah, um, uh, Zoom is really good about um, regulating the yeah. background noise. Doesn't even sound like uh, like you're sewing. <laughs> I can't hear it at all. Yeah, well, let's take care of that kind of stuff. Thank you, Robin. I really appreciate you hanging out with me again. Sure. Okay, time to take more pins out. My um, driveway is a slushy mess. I could hardly get back up up the road after going to town. So it's all melting? Yeah. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. How much snow did you get? It's just a, a we didn't get very much, just a little bit on top of what was already there. But the weather has warmed up, and so it's just been melting. Mm -hmm. So, it I mean, it is slushy. I could hardly get back up in my, my own parking area, you know. It was bad. Tire sliding, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, did dude. you happen to, did, not to interrupt or anything, Teresa Louise, but Katie, did you happen to see Pastry Queen's uh, comment? She goes, ooh, I want to join the fun. <laughs> she can come in if she wants. She means in the in the live, right? I think so. You would have to ask her. I don't know if I even have her on Messenger. Andrea says, thank you all for the condolences. I normally raise them for me, but these probably would have become Easter bunnies. I'm doing 
Good. Uh, Le Leanna, how about you? Your video of your storm is, was so beautiful. Thank you. Love how colorful the houses are. Yep. I like the colorful houses, too. You can def They definitely stand out when there's snow all over the place. I have bread sticking out everywhere on this top. All right. Let's get this next line in. Oh, where, oh, where, oh, there you are. I knew you were here somewhere. Just make sure I got it lined up right before I go put this. I didn't realize how many one yard cuts I have until I started cleaning things up. <laughs> yeah, I have a few of those. I buy them. I buy the yardage because I like cutting from the yardage. Nora, what are you doing? Yeah. Yep. Yep. I hear you, Missy. Why is this one off a little bit? It shouldn't be. Unless I'm looking at this wrong. Hmm. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. I need to find this up better. I think it's because I'm getting to the corner where it's really weird. All right, let me line this up so I can have a look at it. This one goes a bit off a little bit. I was going to say, everybody's still there? <laughs> yeah, we're here. I'm just trying to concentrate here. It's just funny. We all three got preoccupied, and all of a sudden, it was so silent in here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Rob Robin says, Teresa Louise, your horse is gorgeous. Thank you. I think it's gorgeous too. I want to make it. Leanna says, What's the diagonal straight stitch quilt? I 
I think she's asking you, Katie, the one you're working on. Yeah, I don't have a name for it right now. It's one she came up with, and we're all trying to help her name it. Yeah, I I, I came up with the design in my head. And I, we've been, I've been working on it for the last, what, month now, I think, Teresa? Every, every Saturday we've been working. Last Saturday we didn't work on it because I did something else. But, yeah, so this is the fifth Saturday with it. It's on your banner. Oh, wait. What is the diet? I don't. Diagonal straight stitch quilt. It's on my. It's probably either the Stronger Together one or the um, Moda Love block. And then the one in the corner that looks like what's on the back wall, that's my mandala. If that's what you're talking about. <laughs> yep, that's what I did with this one. I want, and I've been sharing it with you guys. Telling you how I did it as I went along is I used 42 charm squares, two yards of background, and the dark blue I used three quarters of a yard, and the turquoise I used the whole entire yard of that. I know that much. I can tell you that much. Oh, okay. I'm glad I answered that question for you. I wasn't sure which one you were talking about. This is this side definitely a little bit off. There must be this one line that I'm too barred. <laughs> Frank says he's oogling over Teresa's fabric. Lori's asking Katie, how are things going with fixing the window? It's not. Nothing has been done. The, the only thing that has been discussed, well, that we decided upon me and Nikolai, is there's going to be no window. We're going to, we're going to close it in. It's going to be a solid wall on that side of the house. Only because, because, only because I don't trust that the neighbor will actually fasten her darn trampoline down. And I can't afford to be traumatized like that again because it sounded like a bomb went off in the house. Yeah, and I, I cannot imagine why, waking up to that. Yeah, and I think that's why the dogs are filthy. There's, I, I guess it bothered them too. So now every every time the wind comes and it makes the least little banging on the side of the house, they're up barking. And that's a little bit nerve-wracking when they do it all the time. And they didn't used to do that. Teresa Louise, Michelle the quilter saying hi. Hello. Hi Michelle. How are you doing? One more row done. And I'm getting closer and closer to that corner. Wow. It's hard to believe. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. That means I have to move some more or take some more pins out too, it looks like. This one's got no, that one might be okay for right now. All the weight is now shift into the left side of the quilt, pulling on it. All right. I keep 
pulling my thread out of my needle because I keep get banging the the um hook up against the needle. This is annoying. I usually don't rip out my thread. All right, got the foot back up high enough now so I can slide it up underneath it. And then let's draw that cre next crease. Hey, look at here. This is the this is the last of the block part of this, and then it starts going across all of the border on this one side. I'll show awesome you when I get it. Stuff. I'll show you when I get to that. Let's get this crease done. That means I'll be, be having to crease that whole corner. All right. Okay. Teresa Louise, everybody is all jealous over your fabric collection and and all <laughs> back there. What collection is it? It's it the fabric she has all in her shelves there. Yeah, I'm missing all of that because I'm over here. So I um. Uh, just switched a whole bunch of the fabric and put it on those um, magazine boards. Uh -huh. And I cannot believe how much space that freed up. Yep. Because before I was just using um, these cardboard things that I made and, uh -huh. uh, and they were a little bit smaller, not as, not quite as wide. Uh, and uh, anyway, so I've been switching them out, and I can't believe how much space I have. Yeah, they move over a little bit, but that's okay. It frees up quite a bit of space. Yeah, I might have room for more fabric. <laughs> you might. I see more future yardage in your. Yeah, I don't need any more fabric, but. Uh... <laughs> Never well, I mean, technically, none of us need more fabric, but <laughs> yeah, never hurts the dream. That is true. I know one thing. I really wish I knew where my dad gums uh, quilting gloves are. I don't use quilting gloves. I I have a a pair of them and I cut the tips off just the tips off the fingertips just to so I could feel the it helps it helps with sliding the fabric or sliding the quilt a little bit not so much pressure on your hands. I really don't know how much you guys are seeing of this. Okay, now we've got a mark again. I think I got this right down right. <laughs> Robin says, speak for yourself. I always need more fabric. <laughs> this one is going to be a little weird again. Oh my god, why is it going to be weird? Probably because I must have done one of these lines a little bit weird. Oh, well, well, it's just going to be the way it is. Nobody's going to be able to even see it, I don't think. Oh, don't do that. Oops. Okay. 
Not until I get further down here anyway. All right, let's mark it again. Ah, uh -huh, that's what happened. I can see what I did now. It's fine, right? I'm sure. Not gonna, I'm not going to rip it up and make it straight. It's just a little tiny curve anyway. Probably won't even notice. Go with the final ruling of if you can stand back five feet and not see it, then it doesn't matter and that's to take it out. Yeah. My thing is it usually is if it's something I can live with, I don't care. All right. Unless it's been unless it's something I'm giving to somebody else and I just then it has to be a perfection. Yeah, and then you want to make it perfect. Yeah. I yeah. That. But I think flaws is what makes it perfect. How about that? Huh? I think flaws make it pretty, uh, make it perfect. Yep. Because no human being is perfect. Oh, looky there. We're getting off to the corner now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What? It's getting to the end on this one side. You got this, Charlie. Lift this up. Ooh, let's go show that out again. Very soon I gotta get going because I can hear my little boy out there trying to pace in the floor waiting for me to come out. Put food in his dish for him. Yeah, Nora will be start be Nora will start getting snarky soon. Right now she's sleeping, so let's say hope she stays that way for. I want to get at least get the, this side done, so you guys at least see this much of it done, and then I can. Uh, all right, while we're talking about this, do you guys? Um. Well, first I need to see what time it is. Because I know Becca comes on at 10 my time. Um, they canceled it because Donna doesn't feel well. So, oh, so yep. it's not going to matter how long I stay up tonight, huh? Yeah. The only okay. one I know that is coming on um, at 6 o'clock my time is T from T Quilts. And that would be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That would be midnight my time. Okay. Whoa. The keyboard's going crazy over here. And um, so Yaz on right now, but you know. <laughs> yeah, well, they don't count. Because yeah. people are going to go there regardless if they want to. And I'm fine with that. I can't afford to go watch them. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I think I accidentally cleared out my keyboard. Oh, no. I can see the chat now. All right, let me try that again. Let's go back here. Ah, there it is. <laughs> it went back to where it was supposed to. I'm going to pop it back out again so I can see it. Um. Okay, here's the question. It is 9 o'clock my time. I'm really not wanting to quit any for at least another. Well, how long can you stay, Teresa? Uh, until I get done here. <laughs> Is so, that going to be a whatever. while or is that going to be ASAP? Um, that's probably going to be like another hour, I would guess. Okay, so we can go another hour. Are y'all game for that? We'll see how much I can get going the other way. Yeah, but Janice says Soya is a dangerous place. <laughs> it is. It you spend it, it's a, it's the most addictive thing I have ever experienced doing. It's a hazard to my credit to my credit cards. Yep. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just too easy to get in trouble with it. Only I can't shop anymore because um, I can't afford their shipping. Their shipping is three times what that, no, four times what that quarter shop or Missouri Star would charge. So I can't, I can't buy fabric from them anymore because it's just not worth it. Yeah, man, that shipping stuff with your with where you live and everything is insane. Well, it's only with them. They used to be as affordable as that quarter shop in um, Missouri Star, but when they got, I guess when they did the uh, Canadian deal, we got the act. And yeah, I'm just thinking just with uh the whole sh how much you got to pay to have sh stuff shipped to you and everything all the way around. Yeah. I mean, it's not cheap as it is, but then when you someone tells you it's going to cost you $75 for 10 yards of fabric, I'm like, um, no. Like, no, thank you. Not if I, because it's not, it's hardly not worth the $6 a yard to pay that much money. Because it's technically it's not on sale anymore. And I hate that because I like buying boutiques from them. They always they get some really nice ones in from time to time. But that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Yep, there's I'll tons of other fish out in the sea to shop from. Yep, that's right. Blessings I don't coming know. Days. The fact that I knew to stop was a good thing. What you thinking, Teresa Louise? I don't know if that makes it any more organized or not. <laughs> it looks good. What I can see, it looks good. It looks way more organized than what mine is. I like how you got them in colors. It looks really nice. Teresa, oh. mine needs some major help. <laughs> Yeah, come to my house. Help me organize mine. Frank says that might be a blessing, Katie. I think I think I what I'll do is I'll just live with it this way for a while and see how I like it. Leanna, if it's just regular mail, yes. It does look like I have a lot of fabric, doesn't it? <laughs> no, Joy, they're in Nevada. <laughs> Leanna I'm goes, you know, I can't this. see. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Leanna goes, Danelle, I can't either. I went on once on to so yet. Then my invoice came back and my eyes popped out of my head. Never watched again. Yeah. There was the first year I was shopping when the, the shipping was good. There was one night where I blew away three hundred dollars, and I when I got the uh thing, I'm like, oh, my husband's going to kill me. Yeah, I spent oh. like four hundred and something one time, and I was like, can I make payments on this, please? <laughs> <laughs> Do you take a firm? <laughs> Because you just get carried away, you know, with, you that's why I had to quit watching because I'm like, pretty quick, it's just a game trying to see if you could win, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a, do you think it's like a form of, um, 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 um. it's like a live auction. No, not an auction. You could, it's, it's almost like a form of gambling. Uh, Leanna, you can find you can find my address in the description box of, of this live video, and I'm trying to remember. I think it's over on my community page, but if not, um, you and I've been eat. No, we haven't emailed back and forth. Yeah, I'll send. I'll send. Yeah, message me, and then I'll send it back to you. Yeah, it's like gambling, and I think that because. I, Nikolai, that first winter when it was the first winter when we had the right as the pandemic was about to happen, 
Christmas. And uh, Nikolai was home that Christmas. And he says, we've been buying them. And he wasn't complaining. He never does it. He's okay with it. But he says, it seems like it's a little bit addictive what's going on in this live. And I realized he had a point. I just couldn't stop. And I finally got myself totally weaned off of it now. When well, that's how I me, was. But every time I got an email about, oh, this is on sale. Oh, this is on, on sale. I'm like, go away. Yep. Now I don't even open those emails. Yeah, that's how I get to feeling is like when you're playing the slot machines in Vegas, you know, it's yeah. like. Just one more time. <laughs> so let's just try one more time. Maybe I'll get it. And then when you get the bill, you're like, oh. <laughs> like, yep, you got it. And my local quilt shop, when they put their fabric on sale, it's like maybe a dollar more a yard than it is. At so, yeah. And so I'm like, I kind of would rather just do that support my local quilt shop you know uh-huh and she'll i don't even have to pay for shipping she'll just hold all my stuff for me and then when i go to town i can just stop and pick it up that's you know? awesome so um uh leanna do you use pastry queen on facebook or do you use a different name i'll be right back okay it's so heavy on this one side. <laughs> and all there's hardly nothing on this side. Wow. <laughs> We're talking about so yeah. About how addictive it is. So how's Nikolai doing? Have you heard from him? Yeah, he called me five days ago, I think. Um, he's not having fun, I can tell you that. They um, some stuff has gone on on the chip. The uh, there's a I, I'll try to describe this as best as I can. Um, the gear is about three hundred meters long. And on the outer part of the gear, on both sides, which has the buoys and all this other sensors, there is steel cables that hold all of it. And then as it gets closer to up at the, the mouth of the uh, gear, there's these big, huge chains and um, two steel um, plates that they call tra trawl doors. And chains is used to um, to operate the trawl doors. Well, um, I don't know if it, I think it happened when they were pulling the gear out of the water. One of the chains snapped, and when they got to looking at when they got the gear in, minus some of what they lost, um, Nikolai said that. Where it broke, it looked like it had already been having a lot of wear and tear on it, which means the other team was aware of it, but they didn't fix it. Oh, wow. The, the team that they relieved, and this has been an ongoing problem for Torbion's team, which is that's what my husband's team is on. They come, you know, they relieve the other team and go to sea, and they're finding things that should have been took care of as it happens, and it's not being done. So they've been fixing tables and um, I'm having a hard time not wanting to call the company and ask why my husband is bathing in brown water and washing his clothes in brown water. But Nikolai- Yeah, I don't me, know if I would do that because you could be taking a risk of his position, so. Yeah, Nikolai says, don't. Yeah, you don't want to come off as like an overbearing wife and- that, no, and but, make it seem like if he can't handle his, his own stuff. None of his sailors should be bathing in brown water. No, but however, he's a he's a grown man. I know. So he 
if it's something that needs to be dealt with, he needs to be able to deal with it himself and not have to worry about his wife coming and scolding his boss, essentially. <laughs> but it's just, it's just it's sad that they're treating the sailors this way. Because how do you know that they're not getting disease from bathing in it? Katie, Charlotte says that the closed caption is not on. All right, hold on. Let me fix it. It should have been on. Why didn't it come on? Has it been off the whole time? I don't know. I don't usually look for it. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Let me have a look and make sure that it could have been from Zoom. Got it. I'm trying to be really good to remember to turn them on. It says it's on, which means Zoom must have did something. Okay, let me go fix it. On my way to Zoom. Let's turn them on from there. Hi, the big bird. Okay. Let me know if it, you can see it now. Hello, hello, hello. Yep, there it is. Yep, it's working. Okay, good. I just turned it on onto my uh, Surface Pro so that way that I could see if it worked. Yep. It's yeah, Sean actually just showed me today of how to fix that. So Sherry says she has it on. Is this whole this whole time I've been doing my my live streams thinking it was on. Well, sometimes it sometimes it actually is on, and then you know it could be something I messed with. Leanna says spraying with Lysol when he gets home and draw him a hot bath. I'm more concerned about stuff getting into their lungs and stuff while they're showering. That's why it's bugging me. Yeah, but you gotta let him defend it for it himself. So, with his with his bosses. I don't know why the skipper hasn't had a discussion with the company about it. Or maybe he has, and they are they're just not doing anything about it. Either way, they shouldn't be bathing in it. He came home to, when he came home this last time, he says, you're going to have to wash all of my clothes. I said, why? He says, because I washed them in the washing machine and it was washed with brown water, so I know they're not clean. And I'm like, okay, I'll take care of it. Well, I would usually wash them anyway, but the, that was the first thing he told me when he got home. You need to wash my clothes. I'm like, okay, we'll do no problem. He was concerned that, you know, something might have been left in the clothes, you know, after he washed them. I'm kind of wondering if that's not caused from when the ship hit them and they just did like a quick repair instead of actually fixing it. You know, like a band-aid. Uh-huh. Because they didn't send the ship to Denmark for dry, box, dry dock. They just did the repair right there in the um, in the port. So it could be that that's why it, it's doing that. Because maybe the band-aid may have come off. That's a good possibility. Because all the water lines ran on that side of the ship that got hit. All right. Well, my jacket is done. Other than actually putting the zipper in. Does it feel bulky? Huh? Is the does the jacket feel bulky when you do it when you make it like that? Um, not really. Like I made one for my oldest well, for both of my boys for Christmas. And my oldest son says he doesn't wear his at all right now because it's not heavy enough for winter time. Oh. Hmm. And my youngest one, he wears his daily. So it all depends upon how thick of a coat or jacket you want. 
the way I do mine is essentially it would feel like if you have a quilt um, snuggling you when you go outside. Oh, okay. I was just wondering if it was stiff and and unflexible is what I mean, I guess. Hey there. Shonda, look who's here. When is he coming home? He's coming to Florida. He's going to meet me on March the 3rd in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Because that's where I'll be when he gets off from work. Okay, Katie. So just to, for your reference, I'm going to put it on. It's like way too big for me. but Because she asked for a 5X. So. Oh, wow. And then this is the first time I've ever tried did a hood on one. So. It's pretty. It looks great. I just and in the pockets how... that were in the hoodie, uh -huh. I cut the, was able to cut those out and put them as the pockets in the jacket. Okay. Hi, Pat. How you doing, uh, Shonda? Hey, Pat Boo. That looks great. Your Thank jacket. you. Yeah. yeah, it looks wonderful. Yeah, there's a, it's a family friend that asked me to make one for her. So she paid me to make it now. And then I got to ship it out to her. And she's like, she goes, I, would you be able to make it as a 5X? I'm like, uh, yeah, don't see any reason why not, as long as I can get the items I need for it. Andrea says now she has double captions. I have yeah. it on Zoom in the in the tiny words and YouTube has large wow. So yeah. you want me to turn one of them off? I I see that. <laughs> oh, because I don't see it. I, maybe turn sure. the one on Zoom off because that one is really tiny, but YouTube one is a uh, pretty big word. So that's that's probably All better. Right. Let me turn the zoom one back on. Yeah, um, but you might wait. Yeah, Wait especially, for since, uh, yeah, especially yeah. since the Zoom one, no one has control on whether it shows or not, where the YouTube one, people have control over on if yeah. they want to see it. See what Andrea says. Because uh, she's the one that's hearing them here. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, I love this input, you guys. This helps me learn what to do, not to do. <laughs> oh, well, Chandra said that she's good. She's been sitting in her sewing room sewing since 1030 Eastern and hasn't sewn a single stitch. Uh-oh. So what have you been doing? Just hanging out in there? Probably watching YouTube stuff. Because sometimes I do that. I just sit there and watch YouTube. Okay, well, Katie, if you don't mind, I am going to take off for the evening hunk so that whether I can go feed my Yorkie because I can hear him out there running around wanting food. Okay, well, thank you for helping me tonight. I appreciate it. Oh, not a problem. Sorry I couldn't stay longer. No, it's okay. You, you've done a good job helping. See you Bye, later. Teresa. Bye. Yeah. Coming. See you, everybody. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah, you too. And Katie, if you don't mind, can I do a slight little plug? Yeah, help yourself. Oh, uh, hang on. I'll put a link in the, in the channel too. Hey, yeah, because this uh, Wednesday, I'm going to be over oh, this Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. I'm going to be over on Jean Captain Stitches um, channel. And we're going to be doing a project over there on her channel this Wednesday evening. So if you guys all want, come check it out and everything. And I will post a link to that on my channel whenever she gets that created. So Awesome. There's uh, Donnell's uh, link to her channel. Thank you, love. Everybody have a wonderful day and awesome weekend. Stay safe. Yeah, you Bye. too. Bye. Bye. Hello.
Andrea, did you want me to turn one of the um ha uh one of the um closed captioning off? Oh, I'm getting a fight with this keyboard and the um, mouse now <laughs> over here. I am so proud of myself that I have managed to do this without too much incident. Yeah, that's great. It's always okay. nice when we accomplish something like that. Yep, definitely. I wasn't real pleased with the basting of it because it's not, yeah. So I'm going to have to figure out how to trim it up where it looks right. For some reason, it, folks, the quilt top and the bottom were the same size, but when I went to mount it on the um, batting, it just, something happened. Uh-oh. Yeah, now I knocked it where I can't get at it. <laughs> Oops. There's not enough space over here. I'm so crowded. One of the things I'm going to look for while I'm in the United States is a way, uh, uh, some kind of frame system that I can set my laptop up off the table out of the way so that when I am doing something like this, it's not, you know, my phone and everything's not in the way. And I, I will have a new camera coming back because someone's donated one. And, um, I'll pick up a couple things, you know, a mic probably needs to be bought for it. And, um, some kind of battery backup so it doesn't uh, quit in the middle of the live. Oh, we got Quinn right in the way. How many more do you have to quilt? You mean on this quilt, Robin? Because I'm so far, I've only done one direction. I still got to do the other direction. But at least now I know what to do. Instead of um, having to worry about putting lots of tape on the front of it, I have figured out we someone has suggested something that's actually working, and I'm using that suggestion instead. Verifica yes, Frank, definitely. I'm, you know, I miss my, I'm missing my, my sewing room where I had more room. Um, sure, Laura, send me the plane ticket and I'll be happy to <laughs> come organize your fabric for you. <laughs> Would you fly to Greenland if somebody gave you a ticket to come to Greenland? I would love to come to
Okay, Andrea, thank you. I didn't see your first answer till way after I asked it the second time. And now I know why this thing is showing top chat instead of live chat. That's why. Ah, so I'm getting it in slow mo. Okay, now it should keep up with everybody. Laura says, I'm in Arizona and my husband has a ton of air miles. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Did you hear that, Teresa? Yeah. I think I'm going to move you over here a little bit so I can hear better. Okay. There. Let's get this next line going. This won't be long and I'll have this whole diagonal side done. And then I can start the other side. I still got to find the center line, of course. Let's see. Do you have an Ikea in Denmark? Yes. But the Ikea in Denmark won't ship to Greenland. And the next question is going to be, well, why not? Because Denmark's part of um, the European Union. Greenland isn't. And then you're going to say, well, why isn't Greenland part of the European Union? Because the European Union wants to own the fishing rights of Greenland. And the Greenlanders said no. I have to say this for the Greenlandic people. They know how to say no to things. Well, because fishing is one of the biggest industries here. And to lose that would mean that uh, the European Union would be making all the money and the people here would be just doing without, respectively. You know what I mean by that. Right. That's what all big countries try to do, take from little countries their resources and then say they're going to do this and this and this and then they don't do it and i think greenlanders has had enough education watching other countries other small countries get the you know the shaft so yeah that's why they they're still refusing to open that uranium mountain it's two hours away from my house because that was that's a whole can of worms just by itself The little town where that big mountain is at, it's the most uh, picturesque place. It's it's this really tall mountain, and um, the the city kind of the the small town. It's not even a city. It's I think a town of six hundred maybe, and the houses all are at the base of the mountain, and then on the and then on three sides of this mountain is the fjord. So there's always icebergs sitting in the fjord. And then on the left side of the mountain, going down like this, it goes down into a valley. And there's this waterfall that runs down the side of the mountain into the valley. And when you go on that side of the mountain and you climb, you know, you hike halfway up it, you all you see is this green place. And it's just with icebergs sitting in the fjord and the colorful houses. I mean, it's just beautiful. Oh, and wow. You know, if you crack up with a uranium mountain, all that bipod is going to go in the water table and it'll mess up fishing and everything else yeah you don't want that no nope. so that's why they keep saying no they it keeps going the parliament keeps hosting it you know to vote on it and they keep the greenlandic population keeps saying no 
So hopefully they can keep on saying no. I mean, it's, it has many negatives versus what would be good for the country, you know. Financially, right. it would help with infrastructure, but not at the um, expense of nature. And that's what Greenlanders are looking at is, well, do we want to uh, destroy Mother Nature just to get money to do other things? Well, yeah, well, it's going to would destroy their livelihood in the long run, you know. Yep, pretty much. So they've been smart about it so far. Some countries keep trying, though. Let us buy the uranium from the mountain. Katie, did you see Leanna's question? Katie, is there restrictions on mail? For example, if I sent you 10 granny squares to Germany and Canada with a regular stamp, will that apply to you? Should, yeah, there's no restrictions for that. In fact, the only restrictions that I've ever seen is if you, if you send me an aerosol can of something, they will take it. But outside of that, no. There's not even, um, what do you call it, import taxes? Oh, really? No, there's not. I don't pay any import taxes on any of this fabric I get. And it's because I'm not making a business out of it. Oh, right. This is personal stuff. They, and they don't, they, they used to open my boxes all the time. Not so much, <laughs> not so much stuff from Fat Quarter Shop, but like Mary... Mary would send me two coolers a year, and every now and then they would crack one of them and go through my stuff. But that red, the only the only time they've actually taken something is she sent me some um, something that was aerosolized, and they took it out of the box and sent my mail on its way, minus that piece of that one piece of item. No, she didn't send any more things that had aerosol in it. I don't know what the big deal was, but so now I just if I buy anything that's aerosolized, I just put it in my suitcase and bring it home with me. They don't mess with my suitcases. Not yet anyway. The only problem I've had so far traveling is when I went through France and the people was, oh my God, the airport's so bad. They treated me like I was a criminal. Come to find out when I when I got on the airplane, um, because I, I had basically had a um, anxiety attack because of what they had done. And um, when the flight attendants were talking to me, she told me, she says, they're always hard on Americans for some reason. They treat all of them badly. And that's kind of sad. Really? Yep. Hmm. See, um, you go through this, um, I don't know, if it, I don't think it's customs, it's something else. It's some kind of, it's kind of like a homeland security kind of like. And you go through this line and they look at your passport stuff and look at your tickets and his he, the question he asked me was why were you in copenhagen for two days so i gave him my answer and he says again why were you in copenhagen for two days and i said i just told you why i was in copenhagen for two days well i don't believe you i said well i don't know what to tell you that was why i was in copenhagen i always pre-planned because for a contingency in case I can't leave Greenland, you know, because of weather. So I always fix it so that normally if the weather's good, then yes, I'm there for two days. If the weather's bad, then I have a two-day contingency where I don't lose my airplane tickets. And so they dragged my butt off into security and uh, took all my stuff from me and um, made me stand with my legs spread apart and my arms spread out. And started patting me down and using some kind of 
I don't even know what it was, some kind of scanner thing. And by the time it was over with, I was totally humiliated. Oh, man. And I told Nikolai, I will never go through there again on a, on a, a drop, what do you call it? Um, short stop. That'll never happen again because it was traumatic. All because he thought I was lying, which I wasn't. But they went through all of my stuff and then they just shoved it all back in instead of putting it back the way they found it. And then when they're moving you from point A to point B, you're being yelled at like you're, you're cattle. Because right. the planes are on the tarmac. You don't have a, um, you know, where you sit in a, sit and wait to go through the, I don't know what that's called. The little shoot thing that goes into the plane. They didn't have any of that. You got on the airplane on the tarmac. It was crazy. Well, that Hang doesn't on. sound. I'll look, at, I'll look at the channel in just a minute, you guys. That doesn't sound like fun at all. It was not. That's the first time I've ever been treated that way. I mean. And I've flown everywhere just about. Well, I've been to um, Amsterdam a couple times. I've uh, been through the UK a couple times. Uh, Heathrow, I think is what it was called. Several places in the United States I've flown into or out of. And so when that happened, I'm like, wow, what hateful mean people. Okay, let me backtrack. Hang on, I'm going back to look. Was there another question? Must have been. Let me go look. Um, I don't know. I don't see one. I'm looking, but um, did you did you answer the one that said how many more do you have to quilt, Katie? Oh, I said um, I'm almost done with the, the <laughs> diagonal here. But I still got to go the other direction. How many more quilts do you need to quilt, though? How many more quilts? Oh, my yeah. God. Too many to count. Oh, okay. <laughs> at least I have at least six finished tops. No, I take that back. I have more like 10 finished tops, and they're not quilted. And some of them are very big. Just so you guys know this, um, the United States um, is pretty rigorous coming into the country, too. They, especially if you're coming in from certain countries, mm -hmm. they really, really examine people coming in. I mean, I was watching some of those videos and yeah. <laughs> I haven't had too much trouble. Because I'm coming from Denmark usually. That doesn't mean I won't. Right. Somebody could be having a bad hair day that day and decide they want to pick on me. Well, I'm not talking about like if you're if you're from the United States. I if you're from say, if you're from uh, other countries coming in, yep. I think you get you get searched a lot more. So, you know. Yep. I, I can understand been, other countries doing the same thing, like yep. France and everything like that. But yeah, I have seen racial profiling going on while I'm waiting to go through um, security coming into the U.S. They literally pull every person that has that either looks like they're Middle Eastern or Lat Latino, any of them. They automatically just pull them aside. Yep. And I'm like, these people, these if people you look like you're American. coming from Colombia, they, boy, they really search you. <laughs> yeah. And the problem is, is the lines that I'm in are, are American citizens. So those are American citizens coming back into the country being treated like that. Well, a lot of them have drugs on them. 
Maybe, maybe not. Well, the videos I've watched, they did. And they hide them in uh, really <laughs> unusual areas. Oh, I'll just personal. put it that way. Yeah, yeah. I mean by that. They, and one, this, um, this one guy, they, they had to take him to the hospital. That's the protocol. If you hide anything up there, <laughs> then. Or if you they, smell, yeah, you're a mule. You have to go to the hospital immediately. Because if that breaks while it's inside you, you know, die. you can OD and die. Uh, so. Okay, I think I'm done with doing this for a while. I've, I've had my share of uh, straightening up. Organizing fabric <laughs> for a while. I'm trying to figure out how I want to um fix this. You know, now that because I have all this stuff out here in the living room, I'm thinking I want to just uh put all the fabric and stuff in boxes and put them in the cold room while I'm gone. But cover put my um cover on my machine and then cover that with a sheet along with put a sheet over my monitor and stuff and just leave it sitting in here because I can't put it in the sewing room. There's no room in my bedroom to move it all to, so you know. I told I told Zanifa that when she can't because she's gonna come four days before I leave. And I said, um, the living room's going to be a little crowded for you when you're sleeping on the sofa because I moved my sewing stuff in there so I could sew. She's like, okay, no problem. Because uh, if, if she was just coming to hang out for a few days, because she's done that before, she usually, you know, will um, sleep together because, you know, I got a big bed. And it's, you know, it's okay. But when, I, when it comes to traveling, I don't do that because... She may come in with germs, and then I end up on the airplane sick, so I don't do that. And she's all for me not being sick. Yeah, definitely. Hey, if you stay for this, maybe. Um, Janice says, yes, that has been my experience coming from Jamaica to the U.S. Robin says, drugs are the problem. Pastry Queen says, I get searched all the time and my luggage. They say, here comes the uh, I can't pronounce that. Putro Raisin. <laughs> I don't know. It's Puerto Rican, I think. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, and then she says, all they find is a luggage full of fabric and quilting stuff. <laughs> Then she says, I will say this past year since I made VIP mosaic level, no one bothers me. Oh, that's cool. That's good. The word is Puerto Rican. Okay. What's what did what did she say in Puerto Rican? No, it says I get searched all the time in my legends. I say, here comes the Puerto Rican. Is that what you were talking about? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's the word I was talking about. Um, Candace says, I don't mind my bags or me being searched. Better being on the safe on a safe plane and country. It's the rudeness that isn't called for. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, they don't need to be rude. Treat people like criminals. Just you know, they're not people. Yeah. Hi, Nina. Um, she said, I've been lurking and listening while sewing. Awesome. awesome. We we like lurkers. <laughs> Thank you. Let's watch ours. Okay. I Thank have you. a question for you guys. Um, if you, uh, you know, have enough fabric to organize it, do you organize it by color or do you... Or what do you or you know like that's what I just went through doing. Um, 
So for me, I'm I'm going to show them real quick, Katie. Go ahead. You want me to um, hang on? Let me. Um, what do you call it again? Pin me. Well, it's the other pinning. It's called. Um, oh. Hang on, I need to move my pop up so I can see your little spotlight view for everyone. That's yeah, spotlight. Okay, okay. you're spotlighted. Okay, I'm eating candy, by the way. So mm -hmm. the all the fabric that are on the standing upright like this down here, um, they're on boards. They're all two yards or more. It looks wonderful. And then the fabric that's folded here on the side here. If they're folded like that, those are all one yard cuts. So then I went through and I put everything that has white or white white background is like here over, including all the one yard cuts. And then I went then I changed to yellow. And then I did the same thing to cream green, blue, and then down here is purple, pinks and maroons kind of thing. I think um, it looks wonderful. Brown and then black. Thank you. And then the lower shelf down here is um, five year five yard cuts or bigger or like um one oh one one oh eights. That's what those those are gonna be. And then this shelf this shelf right here are fat quarters that are um like bundles already. So mm -hmm. I don't take my fat quarter bundles apart and mix them all in with everything. I keep them together. Okay, I'm going to read what they say. And while you're reading that, um, I keep my boutiques separate from my cotton. Yeah, I do keep my boutiques separate too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't include any boutiques <laughs> over there. All the boutiques are right here. <gasps> Look at all that beautiful stuff. Yum, yum, yum. Right there and over there. Yeah. Are the that's all petite. Really well organized. You got it. It's beautiful. I've been working really hard on it the last few days. I'm trying to get it all cleaned up. That's great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If mine came, if I bought it as a collection, I keep it as a collection, even if it's one yard or two yards. So I don't separate that either. Anything that came as a collection, I keep together. Um, so Candace says, no, I keep mine with, with the collection. If they, they aren't in a collection, they just get put with the others. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Laura says, I have some in a collections and then others by color. Okay. That's kind of how I'm doing it. Um, we put mine in colors too, like the cotton ones. They're all done in color. I don't really have any yardage collections where it's like a whole collection in yardage. Kathy's, Kathy says she organizes her scraps by color, uh, new fabric mostly by designer. Okay. Uh, Frank says all of the above. <laughs> Um, pastry says I was organizing by color, but as I added, I've got areas of just a yard, then others are by designer. Okay. Under the needle says I organize by the size of the cut. Layer cakes, jelly rolls, charms, all separate. Back quarters, half yards, yards folded. Any other yard is wrapped on a board. Okay. 
Laura says, it looks fabulous. So neat. You can organize my stash any day, <laughs> says Janice. <laughs> Thank you, Candace. Yeah, these shelves happen to be here when we moved, when we bought the house. So they have them um, screwed into the studs. So you can't, you know, and the shelf is really heavy. So we just left it here. And it turns out, because this is like the master bedroom, you know. And uh, when we first moved here, we had really old dogs and they couldn't get up the stairs. So we just slept on the main floor so the dogs could be with us. And uh, so that's why I got the master bedroom as my studio. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Um. Okay, so I'll show you where the pre-cuts are. So that was everything on this shelf. Of course, you can see I have long arm thread and stuff like that right here. And then down here on this, on this shelf, I have, um, are where the pre-cuts are. So I have like these half jelly rolls that we got from the sew sampler box. <laughs> They're all piled up right there. And then I have, um, you guys can see it. Okay. So there are all the um, charm packs. And then I have, I love these little totes here. Um, I have zippers in there. Then I have jelly rolls down here. Um, let's see, further down, I have layer cakes down here. And then these are all panels, you know, like panels. I got a whole tote of them. And then um, further down, I have red, white, and blue fabric. And then I have um, my collection of flannel. And that's a, that's pretty much all the pre-cuts that I have. I'm not a real big pre-cut person unless it's uh, fat quarters. <laughs> yeah, fat quarters has been my thing these days. Although I did get some charm packs the other day, finally, in one of my Missouri stars. Stay tuned, there's a video coming about that. Um, and it was uh, buy one and get 50% off the other one and they, they were um, boutique um, charm packs um, how I manage my scraps well I used to just like throw them in a, a tote and they got really overwhelming for me I don't do well with scraps they get me they get me too flustered i guess i don't know so i sent them all to donna <laughs> or i sent the majority of them to donna so now when i have scraps if i um you know from that project i try to use all of the fabric i can in that project whether it's on the front of the quilt, the back of the quilt, or maybe a pillow or a couple of pillowcases or whatever it takes for me to use all that that I can. And then the rest of it, I've been putting in a padded envelope. And when it gets full, I'm going to give it away. <laughs> cool. And that, that's how I handle my scraps. I used to keep them uh, by color in little totes or little plastic drawers, you know, and that worked out pretty good. But you know what? They were in there like for a whole over a year and I only kept adding to them. I never used them. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. You know, I should um, send these off <laughs> to somebody who's going to use them because obviously I'm not using them. The only time I really used them is if I was doing a, um, a, like testing a block, then I would dig through there and try and find some fabric um, that I could use to test 
a pattern or test a block. So. Did I see mom and pop's quilt shop come in? Somebody said hi to them. Hi, Denise. Is she here? Hi, Laurel Lynn. Oh, here. yeah, there she is. Hi, Laurel Lynn. Oh, she is in here. Hello. Thank you for dropping in. <laughs> Pastry Queen says, I'm trying to convince my honey for us to move our bedroom to my sewing room and let me move my sewing into the giant master bedroom suite. <laughs> That's funny. She's still and working I on he's it. Saying, I bet he's still saying, mm, no, not yet. Yeah, not yet. How you doing, Laura Lynn? So, All right. um, one more. Looky here. We're about to put that last one on this side and the vertical going in that one direction will be done. Oh, awesome. And then I think I will save the doing the other direction. I don't know. I should finish it, but I don't want to keep everybody all night long doing it. All night long, you know. Yeah. Long Lionel Richie's all night long song. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, organize my projects and the in the closet. <laughs> well, that sounds like a good plan to me. That's going to be a chore. <laughs> I'll bet. Hi, Linda. Hey, Linda. Oh, man. Laura Lynn just prep for prepping for bed. Thought she would pop in and say hi. Thanks for the thumbs up. Yeah, thank you. Showing some support to my homies. Yeah. Thank you, girl. <laughs> I actually got managed to sit through most of her. I think yeah, I sat through all of her live, but except like the last, I think, two minutes of it. I was able to sit through a, and I was basting the quilt while I was listening to her. And that's the first time I've been able to sit through an entire one, but I've been up early today. I usually sleep till one o'clock in the afternoon because I go to bed so late. You can take me off of being, being pinned there. Oh, sorry. Yep. <laughs> Hang on. Let me fix that. And then I'm going to show you guys. Let me see here. Now I'm going to spotlight myself so you guys can see this book stuff. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Huh, there we go. Y'all ready to see? I've got one direction done. <laughs> Robin was asking where I was at. <laughs> now I understand. Okay, let me see. Which side is the... Oh, we have... Let me take pin out of here. All right. Okay, I hope you can see the quilting. So I got all one side, just one direction done. And then I'll show you the back. Okay. And this is the back. Wow. Awesome. So now all I gotta do is start the other direction. That right. quilt is really pretty. Yep. For a no name quilt, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Laurelyn. Okay, so I think I am going to save the other direction and 
Thank you, um, Laura Lynn. Uh, I have a friend to thank for that. Her name is Diane. She helped me do the math because I what I did with the piecing on the back is uh, I used what was left of um, some some other charm packs or a charm pack and some ten inch ones where I had made a, diff uh, a different quilt top that's still hanging on my design board. And then I had some solid for the middle, and she helped me do the math and uh, to get it done properly. Cool. She's the math of tissue. <laughs> yeah, that quilt is very cute. I like it. Thank you. But mm -hmm. it still doesn't have a name. What do they call those blocks that the little kids play with? The alphabet, the alphabet blocks, you know, the, um, stacking blocks, blocks. Uh, Maybe they call them stacking blocks. <laughs> I don't know. That's an interesting name too, stacking blocks. Thank you, Laura Lynn. Thank you, Denise and Glenda and Robin and De Denise, and <laughs> Kathy, and Denise. And Denise. Yeah, I already said that, didn't I? Roblox or Legos? <laughs> uh, yeah, not the Legos. Oh, look. Um, uh, building Leanna, blocks. Yes, building, building blocks. Block. Uh, Leanna says, Kathy's tip to be square. That's actually a cute name. Um, Donna and Becca canceled their live because Donna is sick, Jody. Yeah. So I've been online since seven, so that's eight, nine, three hours. Oh, time to go. I think I have, yeah. And I've had two lives today. So anyone have okay. any questions? Anyone have any questions to ask before I oh, I need to undo myself too. Oops, sorry. Okay. Well, thanks for having me, Katie. Yes, thank you for coming. Thank sure. you, everybody, for watching, and thank you for the compliments on the little quilt. Um, I will post on the um, the community tab. Maybe I, I'm what I think I'm going to try to do is finish quilting in the other direction, and then on the next Saturday live, we will put binding on it in front of y'all, and then it will have been this will be done. Start to finish. So awesome. Thank you. Yep. So thank you everybody for coming and stay tuned on the community tab because I have a couple questions to ask you and I want some feedback. So have a great evening and thank you for coming and see you on the next video. Okie dokie. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. All right. Okay. Thanks, Katie. Thank you for coming and helping.